MLB The Show's coverage of Major League Baseball is on the air. Coming up, we've got a good matchup in store between the Tampa Bay Rays and the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim. Riding in, Brandon Lau, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. The afternoon for Tampa Bay, the second baseman, number eight. First delivery to him on the way. That's Here's a, a slider to start things out, looked at for ball one. Driven deep. At the wall, it is gone. Not exactly. So here's it's Kevin Kiermeyer. Kevin. And on the first pitch, he grounds foul. Base is empty here with nobody out. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. Threw that fastball right by him. He had no chance to get the barrel of that one. And the slider is low and inside as he just about got him there. That's a good pitch right there, but you know, as a base stealer, when you're in the box like that, you want to protect your money makers, right? You don't want anything around your knees or your feet, so he was fortunate to get out of the way of that one. But this is right at him in right field as he hardly has to move to take it in for the first out. Here's Nelson Cruz now. The designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Hey! You could bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you'd normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Bases are empty, one man out. Still no balls and two strikes. Ready with another 0-2. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. Meadows. First pitch coming. Here it is. As anticipated, here's a ground ball now to the right side. Throw to Pujols is going to be in time, and the inning is over. Here's Tommy LaStella now. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. For the Angels, the second baseman, Tommy. Infield in the overshift here, now the pitch. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. And he will make the nice running catch out there as he had to travel a long distance to rein that one in. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And standing in, one of the best two-strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. And a ball, 1-0. Liner towards second. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. That is third. The center fielder, Mike. Here's the center fielder, wow. Mike Trout. As Bumgarner gets ahead of him with strike one. Man at first for him following the one out single. Swing and a drive to left by Trout. This one's got a chance. But that'll stay in the park as it's off the wall. And they're going to hold him to a single here as they do a nice job of getting it back in quickly. Batting four. The third baseman, Anthony. In now is Anthony Rendon. As he'll take a changeup here for strike one. Oh. 
in the dirt here. And he's going to make it up to third here as he advances on the wild pitch. The 1-1. One, one. one ball and two strikes to count. Breaking ball. That's in the dirt as he takes a ball. He might have to look for a different way to put this guy away on 2-2. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times, so he might be looking for it. Scorched to third. He's got it. Thought about coming home, but he'll go to first instead. Throw gets him. Two down. So stepping in, Jason Castro, as he's got a chance to tie this ball game up with that equalizing run just 90 feet away at third. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. Count one and oh. Ready with the 1-0. -oh. Went about hey. halfway there, but it's a called strike regardless. Simmons on third. Trout at second with two gone. All Hit the two. target, but this is low. Two and one. All even now, two and two. And he's down on strikes, so they get two men into scoring position, but that's as far as they'll get as the side is retired. Second inning set to go, and standing in the outfielder, Hunter Renfro. Number 11, Hunter Renfro. Outfield shaded a bit to left center, the first pitch. Line drive to left. Upton is there, and he has it for the out. Stepping in, G-Man Choi. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. Choi tends to have more success against right-handed pitching like this than he does against southpaws. Could be a comfort thing. Maybe he just picks up the ball a little better. But that's the book on him at this point. They haven't played perfectly as it's hit on the ground. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And that'll bring up the catcher, Mike Zanino. Zanino. And now pitch on the way. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Trout is there, and it's a very quick inning as the side is retired. Here's Justin Upton now. And leading up for the Angels, the left fielder, Justin. First pitch Upton. on its way. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Kiermaier's got a read on it. One down. Next will be the designated hitter, Matt Thice, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. Mm, a little tardy there, no balls and a strike. Well, he kind of tipped his hand right there. His approach is obviously sitting on the off speed because he was so late on that first pitch heater. And it's fouled away. One out, nobody on. Swing and a miss on the fastball that time. Out number two. Standing in, Albert Pujols. The first baseman, Albert. Here's the first pitch to him. The 1-0 home. Two out, nobody on. High in the air down the right field line. 
And foul. A ball and two strikes. Here's the pitch. I got to count. You know, two. we'll see him work both sides of the plate with his curveball. Maybe not that far in, but he'll move that pitch around the zone to give it a different okay. look. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Swing and a miss, and that ends the inning. Ball set for the start of the inning, and set to go is the third baseman, Joey Wendell. Joey Wendell. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Now a changeup in on the hands that evens it at one and one. Grounded up the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. Hey, you guys know me. Hitting's a process of elimination, and I'm eliminating the changeup. A swing and a drive sent out toward the gap. And that one is gone! Batting to the plate now, Willie Adamas. As he will look at a first pitch fastball for ball one. Inside, and he falls behind the hitter now, 2 0. Fouled away. Swing and a liner. Foul. And a good bite to that slider as he swings through it for the first out of the inning. Now, that now at the plate, Brendan Lau. He went deep in his first at bat. We'll see what he's got in store for us here. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at bat. That last at bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little oh, discipline here. 0 oh 2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. Count remains at 0 oh 2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. There's a fastball well off the plate for a ball. Snatched out of midair at first base for route number two. Line drive snagged on a short hop. The bat. Standing in Kevin Kiermeyer hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat. Yeah, he hit it hard. That's all you can ask. You can't control the results sometimes, Matty. Just unlucky with the placement. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. That's lifted the other way out to left. Upton's under it. And that ends the inning. Bottom of the third now, and next it'll be the outfielder, Brian Goodwin. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Ball one to start the at-bat. That's inside, 2-0. Down low, and the plot thickens here. Three and O. Oh. Here it comes. Please. Swung on and missed. That's strike two. The bouncer to the left side. Fielded cleanly, and the throw on the first will take care of him. So he's thrown out by the only man standing on the left side of the infield. One away. Now bat. 
second base. And now for the Angels, Tommy LaStella fly down in his first at bat, so make him 0 for 1 so far. Here it comes. Pulls this one into the air out into right field. Meadows moving back. He gets there, and that's the second out. So bases are empty here with two gone. And standing in, one of the best two-strike hitters in baseball, Andrelton Simmons. Bumgarner into his motion. First pitch on its way. It's a high fly ball headed for the left field corner. If it stays fair, it's gone. And foul, though it had the home run distance. And he lays off for ball one. Hey, a two-out walk right here would be the tying run to the plate. Even though it's early on, you've got a guy on deck that has a lot of pop. And did he go around? No, he did not. Ball two. Hit hard to short. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. All set for the start of the fourth. And digging in is the veteran D.H. Nelson Cruz. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Out in front of it, strike one. A one count. Here's the pitch. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. And the off-balance throw gets him. Nice play for the out. So one away here with the bases empty. And Austin Meadows will be the next to bat. First delivery to him on the way. Counts one and oh. Now the 1 0. Right side and right into the shift. A diving try, but he can't haul it in. It's through for a base hit. The left fielder, number 11, Hunter Renfro. Into the box, Hunter Renfro. As he swings and misses at a first pitch fastball, 0 and 1. He's 0 for 1 thus far. Tried to crush that ball and now perhaps needs to shorten up with two strikes. Get out of here, oh and two here it is. Two runs three hits and no errors for Tampa Bay so far. Fouled off. Nope. And it's one and two. There's not too many umpires in the game that are going to ring that first strike right there. That was borderline up, even though it was in the zone. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. Here's another one, two. Down the third baseline. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. Oh, and he can only battle for so long as he's finally set down here after an eight now pitch at bat. The first baseman. So a runner at first with two away, and that brings up the corner infielder G Man Choi. From the belt, kicks and deals. Way behind that pitch, it's 0 and 1. Off the plate and in. It's a ball and a strike. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit and bury that inside, it leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. The one two. Runner goes per second. This is on the ground over to first. There is La Stella. He'll whip this one to first in time, and that ends the inning.
ready to go in the bottom of the fourth. And standing in, the ever-dangerous Mike Trout. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but he's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. The 0-2 home. Ball. Great arm action on that two-strike changeup right there, but even better job at the plate to take that one. 1-2 one, is an off-speed pitch. No dice, it's 2-2. Two and two. Flip a coin right here with this next pitch. After throwing two fastballs to get ahead, he's been able to lay off both those off-speed pitches. Looks like he's seeing it pretty good. And that nope. misses for ball four. It's a leadoff walk that starts the bottom of the fourth. The third baseman. And Number digging six. in next will be Anthony, Anthony Rendon. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. First offering on its way. No runs, two hits, and no errors to this point for the Angels. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. A line shot to third base, but the runner is back in time to avoid the double play. Stepping up now, now Jason back. Castro. The 0 Kessler. for 1 for him here Big in this six. one. Castro. From the belt, the pitch. Lifted the other way out to left center. On the move is Kiermaier. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Digging in, Justin Upton. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last A.B. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for There's a swing and a high, deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly would have gotten him on the board. Instead, it's a long foul ball. Tying run at the plate, the 0-1. A great job of changing speeds there. It's 0-2. And he fouls this one off. Bumgarner sets. Here's the 0 2. One ball. Breaking ball below the zone. That's ball one. He didn't look overly fooled right there because a lot of pitchers will go to the breaking stuff 0 2, but he certainly looked ready for a breaker on that pitch. Able to protect the plate with two strikes, and he'll see another one. Now a throw over, runner back standing. He'll try again, one, two. And this is lifted high in the air down the right field line. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. Into the box, Mike Zanino. So far, 0 for 1 with a flyout. Mike Zanino. Halfway to 100 pitches, here it is. Ground ball sent back up the middle. Lastella fields it cleanly. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out, one away. So the base is empty here with one away. And digging in next will be Joey Wendell. Here's the first pitch to him. Bases are empty, one man out. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. 
man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. And this is swung on and missed, so it's two up, two down to start the fifth. Up so bases are empty here with two gone, and up next will be Willie Adamas. First delivery to him on the way. Popped up. And no one will get this one. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate, 0-2. On, he jumps on this one. It's high and deep to center. Back goes Trout. On the warning track, he makes the catch. To the plate now is the designated hitter, Matt Seitz. He'll begin things here against Madison Bumgarner. Matt First pitch of the at bat. Now a big oh, fastball, and he's well behind it with the swing. The wind up and the 0 1. Ball one. Looks like he swung it underwater that time for strike two. Well, you know you've got it working on the mound when they're swinging right through it, even when you're putting it right down the middle of the strike zone. Not the greatest of game plans, though. Swing and a liner. Kiermeyer is right there, one down. And with one away now, we'll see Albert Pujols hit with the bases empty. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Now Pujols smacks one to left. Lots of carry on this one. See you later. Over the wall, a home run. Next batter to the plate, Brian Goodwin. As he will take strike one on the fastball here, no balls and a strike. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And it's fouled away. Oh, look out! Hot shot to third, and there are two away. The batter, so the batting nine. order turns over now Second and set base. to go Tommy LaStella. He's 0 for 2 thus Stella. far in this one. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Can't Ooh, find the zone bad. there as he lays off the breaking ball. And a fastball here that's taken for ball two. 2-0 two -oh count, the pitch. 3 and 0 oh now. Andrelton Simmons would be next. And nope. that misses Ball as well. Four. Ball 4, so it's a four-pitch walk here. The batter, so now to the plate will be Andrelton Simmons. A Andrelton. hit in two tries so far. Bumgarner sets. First pitch on the way. One oh. This is where you got to take stock in the situation. Adjust your batting gloves and realize you need a gapper to score this guy from first. If nothing less, pass the baton to the guy behind you and keep the line moving. Now the 1-0. Two balls. He's going back to back with off-speed stuff to start this A-B and neither has found the zone. He's trying to pitch him backwards, but that only works if you can get them for strikes. Now he'll probably have to challenge it. That's in for a base hit, and he's two for three.
the center fielder, number 27, Mark Brown. And that'll bring Mike Trout to the dish. Liner in there for a base hit. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. The third baseman, number six, Anthony Renko. Standing in now, Anthony Rendon. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He's hitless in his two at-bats so far. Trying to hold the lead. Here's the delivery. Called strike 0-2. Oh Boy, this is one of those ABs you like to hit the rewind button on. Put himself in a tough spot now, hitting with two strikes. That misses 1-2. That was a tempting pitch to swing at right there. A big power guy like this really wants something that he can elevate and drive out of the ballpark. Two balls and two strikes now. The set and the 2-2. Hit sharply on the ground. And that's through into center field. Base hit. Oh, but it's offline, so the run will score. Now a good throw comes into the infield, so that'll force the second oh, runner to hold on field. over at third base. Let's get to it. Jason Castro. Jason Castro, the catcher, is in as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one. He's 0 for 2 in the ballgame so far. One and one to Jason Castro. Two balls and a strike. It's not easy to continue pounding the strike zone when you've given up three consecutive hits, but he has to trust that getting the ball down in the zone will get him an out. To two and two now. A strike away now from getting out of this mess. Sometimes pitching is all about minimizing, right? So keeping it to two runs across in the inning would be huge. Got him. So the damage winds up not being as bad as it could have been as they'll strand the bases loaded. The side is retired. Ready once again, Brandon Lau. He'll try and get things started as we begin inning number six. Number eight. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. This is pulled into right. Goodwin is there, one away. In now, Kevin Kiermeyer. He's a gold player who's particularly known for being a speedster on the bases. Here's the first pitch to him. Hit hard up the middle. And that is through into center field for a one-out single. Now that designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. And that'll bring up the big stick of Nelson Cruz. As he tries to go out and get the slider, but it's not there. It's strike one. Right there, and it's quickly 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. Now So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Austin Meadows. He's one for two in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Uh, no plate discipline that time, and he's in the hole now, 0-2. With the way this guy's throwing on the mound, you cannot be chasing. You have to set your sights a little bit lower and control the strike zone. Lifted the other way out to left center. Trout is under it, and he makes the catch for out number three. Digging in to try it again. Justin Upton. And leading up for the Angels, the left fielder. First offering on its way. Upton. 
Pitch on the way. Sliced hard on the ground. And that's through for a hit. Up next for the Angels, the designated hitter, Matt Seiss. At the plate, Matt Seiss. As he rips it on the ground to second. He gets dirty, but he can't make the play. It's a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. The first baseman, number five. Nick Birdie takes over on the mound here with nobody out in the sixth Ooh. inning. Your attention, please. Now pitching for Tampa Bay. Number 57. Here's Albert now. As he'll take a look at ball one. A hit in two at bats for him at this point in the ball game. Popped him up. Lau over to his left. One away. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Brian Goodwin. He comes in 0 for 2 thus far. Good win. He's set and the pitch. Strike one to start the at bat. Well, the Angels have been searching for that big hit pretty much all game. It remains to be seen if they can get it, but now sure would be a great time. Swinging a ball hit in the air to right field and deep back is the right fielder, but he will look up and watch this one sail out of here. Batter, number nine, second baseman, Tommy. At the plate now, Tommy Lastella as he takes a cold strike on the black. It's 0-1. 0 for 2 from him so far in this one. 1-1 one and one to Tommy Lastella. Birdie, a 27-year-old, he throws a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and a two-seam fastball. Now the 1-1 one and one pitch. Three runs already home here. Yanked on the ground down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. This is a fun guy to watch when he's up there. Really battles. Doesn't take any pitches off. He's a grinder. Always seems to make it difficult on the opposing pitcher. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Another try at 2 2. Pulled toward right center field. Kiermeyer will range to his left and put it away. Two down. In now is Andrelton Simmons. He steps in off a base hit in his last at bat. Simmons! Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. Heading out towards shallow right. Now a reaching grab as he makes the play and loses his balance all at once. Seventh inning ready to roll, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Number 11. Hunter Renfro. Ty Buttry is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Swing and a ball pulled hard down the line and left. And now it'll kick around in the corner. Now batter, the first baseman, G-Man Choi. G-Man Choi, the next to hit. As the yep, first pitch to him out. is off the plate for a ball, 1-0. 0. 0 for 2 for him to this point. Swing and a miss one as he one. ramps up on the fastball, 1-1. One one. Got to believe the pitcher's going to trust his defense right here. Look for something down in his zone to induce a ground ball double play. He hits it high. He hits it deep. 
It is out of here. Up next for Tampa Bay, the catcher, Mike Zanino. Here now is Mike Zanino as he rips it on the ground to second. And there's his first base hit in this one. The batter, the third baseman, Joey Wendo. So they'll make a matchup move here and bring on a southpaw to face the left-handed hitter due up. Nick Ahmed will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. Pinch hitting for the Rays. Number 13, Nick Ahmed. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Trout is there, and he has it for the first out. Digging in once again, Willie Adamas, 0 for 2 on the afternoon so far. Adamas. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that's taken high and outside for ball one. Bookter is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. The 2 0 on the way. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters, so you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. And he missed with it. Ball four. So that means now the potential tying run will move into scoring position at second. Number eight. Now to the plate, Brandon Lau. As he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. Here comes the first pitch. And he lays off there 1-0. Ooh, he's really in trouble, and it's just getting worse and worse and worse. This guy needs to find the strike zone in the worst way. That's by him for strike one. One out with the possible tying and go-ahead runs on base here. To short. And that's through into left, a base hit. Throw comes in quickly now, so that tying run will be forced to hold on at third here, still with only one away. So now to the plate, Kevin Kiermeyer. This he'll get caught chasing a bad one there at strike one. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. Just behind the fastball there, two strikes now. Not a good at bat from him so far. He's got the bases loaded out there, but he's been way too aggressive, chasing the first two pitches way out of the zone. He should be sitting pretty right now instead of being down 0-2 in the count. Ready now. Two-strike pitch on its way. Into center field, line drive base hit. One run scores. And the runner from second is in to score. It's now a 6-5 ball game. Now that designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. And now he'll bluff a move back to second base just to make sure the runner wasn't getting any ideas out there. Spin and a throw back to second. And he will thankfully make it back to second as he almost got caught out there. Into the box now. Nelson Cruz. As he'll go after the first pitch and bounce it into foul territory. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 0-1 on its way. Well behind that fastball. It's a swinging strike. Hey, you could tell his eyes lit up on that ball right there. It was a little up, but it was out over the plate. 
tough pitch to pull, nope. and this guy's known for going deep pull side. To one and two now. From the belt, the pitch. High in the air down the right field line. Goodwin is over, and he puts it away in foul ground for the second out. Next to bat will be the Tampa Bay cleanup hitter, Austin Meadows. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Looking to keep this a one run game, the pitch. Easy fly ball into shallow center field. Simmons has a play. Makes the catch, and that'll retire the side. Last half of the seventh here, and at the plate will be the speedy outfielder, Mike Trout. This thing's far from over, even though we're moving into the back end of this game. Only down by one. All they need to do is get this leadoff guy, and they're an extra base hit away from tying this thing up. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. No balls and one strike. Pops this one up. Choi moving to his left. He's got it one away. The now at the plate, Number Anthony six. Rendon. He came through with an RBI single in his last yeah. at-bat. Oh. First pitch on its way. There's a swing and a missile sent out to center field. Back goes Kiermaier to the track, to the wall. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Up next for the Angels, the catcher. Stepping in now, Jason Castro. Castro. Fouled away. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. Now time is called as both guys in the bullpen are ready to go. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Swing and a miss and he's in trouble now 0 and 2. Pulled toward right center field. Kiermaier's got a read on it. Makes the play and there are two gone now. Now at the plate, Justin Upton. He singled his last time up. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Bases are empty here with two men out. And that pitch misses in the dirt, and it's 2-0 now. Looks like this guy's afraid to throw the ball in the strike zone. Gave up that home run earlier in the inning. Needs to get back to being aggressive. Too tight well, with that one. 3-0. and oh. Now with the base is empty, I think he needs to be careful not to just groove one here just because it's 3-0. and oh. He's a guy that could ambush you and lose one over the wall. 3-1 and one the count now. Here it comes. Back up the middle. Throw in the dirt, but a good scoop at first saves an error as the side is retired. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll bring up outfielder Hunter Renfro. Number 11, Hunter Renfro. Cannon Middleton has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth.
First offering on its way. And there's a fastball well off the plate inside. Pitch is popped up. Pujols is there. And that's the first out of the inning. Ready to take his hacks again. G-Man Choi as he'll look to follow up the two-run homer he launched over the wall last time up. First pitch of the at-bat on its way. Lifted the other way down the left field line. And that will end up a foul ball. One out, nobody on. Hard liner, but picked up on a hop. And a throw to Pujols is in time for the second out. So next to the plate for Tampa Bay, Mike Zanino. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Now a ball hit towards Simmons at short. Low throw, but a nice play at the bag by Pujol saves an error and ends the inning. And now the designated hitter for the Angels, Matt Seitz. He's working on a one for three thus far. Jose Alvarado is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 46, Jose Alvarado. First pitch coming, here it is. Off the plate, ball one. A ball and a strike. One and one. One and two now as that one's fouled off. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Meadows moving back. Still going back. And a leaping effort at the wall, but it's in vain. A home run. The first baseman, number five, Albert. To the plate now, Albert Pujols. And it's grounded just foul down the line. As we near the end of this one, I think it's safe to say that the story of the game has undoubtedly been the long ball. Guys, what do you think about what we've witnessed? Well, as a former offensive player, I absolutely love it. Kudos to both lineups for doing absolute damage today. One of the most fun watches of the year. You know, D-Row, what this shows me is this new age way of guys going up there, and they're swinging hard. You need to make good pitches, quality pitches, and if you don't have command of the fastball, you're in for a long day, and we saw that here this afternoon, a ball flying out at near record pace. He's got a hit in three at-bats to this point. And there's ball one. Hey, curveball that kind of backed up on him right there. Might have popped out of his hand just a little bit earlier than he intended. And he's back in standing. A runner at first with no outs here. And this pitch misses. It's two and one now to the Angel right fielder. And now time is called and the reliever is warm out there. Now the 2-1. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Renfro has him played perfectly as he puts it away for round number one. So a runner at first now with no one bad. away. No, and that'll bring in Tommy LaStella to bat next. Tommy. From the belt, the pitch. Well hit. Deep down the right field line. And that's going to wind up hooking just a bit foul, so a missed opportunity there. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. One and one the count. A 
little behind on that swing and now he'll try to shorten up maybe and protect the plate. Runner at first here one man out. And a fastball swung on and missed as he just reared back there two away. Ready now for L.A. Andrelton Simmons. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First delivery to him on the way. High and deep down the left field line. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. A runner on first with two away. Oh, they think they may have gotten him again. This one's hit deep to left field. And for the second time in the inning, the gopher ball will come back to bite him. It's a home run. Up next to the angel, the center fielder. In now, Mike Trout. As the first pitch to him runs a bit inside for ball one. He's two for three and looking for more here. And he misses low with it, 2-0. and oh. Hey, this is one of those tough outings as a reliever. Just have to keep throwing strikes and believe sooner or later this inning's going to turn around. Too high. And it's 3-0. and oh. And this is where he's especially dangerous because if you walk him, he can steal a base on you. But if you lay a fastball in there, he can take you deep, too. 3-1 and one the count now. No offer there from Trout as that misses, and he'll take the walk. So it's a runner at first with two men out, and the next hitter will be the right-handed bat of Anthony Rendon. Chaz Rowe enters here looking to get the final out before the ninth inning. Number 52, Chaz Rowe. First pitch coming, here it is. Hit down the third baseline but a foul ball here 0-1. I know these guys have exploded for three runs already this inning, but if you think this manager's not going to put his foot on the accelerator, you're kidding yourself. This catcher better be ready. That guy's looking to run at first base. The 0-2 pitch. into center field line drive base hit up next for the angel the catcher Jason at the Castro. plate Jason Castro and on the first pitch he grounds foul struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here The 0 and 1 delivery. Skied into straightaway right. And Meadows makes the catch for route number three. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that means that Nick Ahmed will be the next to bat. Number 13, Nick Ahmed. Hansel Robles comes on from the pen hoping to finish this one off here in the top of the ninth. Jake Lamb is going to be asked to try and be the rally starter as he's up off the bench ready to lead it off in the ninth. Jake Lamb. And this ball is lined into center field. And right off the bench, he comes through. It's a base hit. The batter, number one. Shortstop, Willie Adama. So now to the plate, Willie Adamas. Now a ball lined to the left side. Foul. And this ball is heading for the seats down the right side as the count will move to 0-2 now. Nobody out, runner on first. High 
high in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Listella trying to get there, and he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. Ready now, Brandon Lau. He launched one over the wall back in the opening frame. First pitch of the at-bat. Robles certainly comes at you with the big fastball, but the only knock on it is the apparent lack of control he has over that pitch. Might not always know where it's going, and that can... There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. And that one is gone! Now batting the center fielder, Kevin... Into the box now, Kevin Kiermeyer. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. It's been a two for four effort for him so far in the ballgame. And he takes this one high, one and one. Hey, this isn't going to be an easy save. These guys are making it work for this one. And it's a ball and two strikes to Kiermaier now. Ooh-wee! That was some smoke right there. High fire right on by. Hit softly down the line at first. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Now the pitch. On the ground to the right side. And that gets through for a one-out base hit. Now batter, the designated hitter, Nelson Cruz. Standing in now, Nelson Cruz. A swing and a shot hit down the corner. Mm, definitely had the distance, but it winds up a foul ball. They'll be looking for something he could drive into the gap and drive home that tying run from first. The 0-1. Hit high in the air. There it goes. See ya! Wow, this is a tough one to swallow, right? You come in as a closer, and you're used to striking guys out and having one, two, three innings. And just like that, he's greeted with the bomb. Now it's time to regroup and hopefully get some outs. At the plate now, Austin Meadows. As he'll look at a slider that runs in too far for ball one. This lineup has a chance to knock this guy right out of the game. Four runs in the inning, and they smell blood. Boy, Dero, you hit the nail right on the head right now. This is a team that can score some runs. They have a pitcher that's really right now. They need to knock him out and knock him out ASAP. At the plate, Hunter Renfro. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Mm, a little tardy there. No balls and a strike. Hey, this pitcher better be careful right here. My man at the plate is not trying to push something to the opposite field. A little quick on that swing, and he finds himself behind 0-2. Struck him out, so it remains a one-run lead as they head in for their final set of swings. Striding in once again, Justin Upton. And it was quite a turn of events we witnessed in the last half. A lot of runs put up on the board, and we've got a very close game on our hands now. Nick Anderson comes on looking for a save here in the bottom of the ninth inning. Number 70, Nick Anderson. First pitch on its way to Upton. The set and the 1-0 pitch. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's 1-1. One one. It's becoming more and more common in today's game to see relievers like this that can run it up there close to 100 miles per hour. 
but it's so fun to watch it. He blew it right by him there. Two balls and a strike to count. The 2 1 home is strike two swinging. I'm interested to watch this next pitch right here. He got a swing on a high fastball. I wonder if he's going to pull the old plea sack and climb the ladder. And he misses this one inside, and that'll run things full three and two. Not a bad spot to miss right there. Much rather have it run inside than out over the plate where the hitter can do a lot of damage. And the sinking fastball called strike three, and that's out number one. The batter. Into the box now, Matt Theis. He went deep earlier, and he's two for four to this point. Going back to that last A-B, that was the express. That was an upper 90s fastball that he turned around. So I think with this guy, you might want to try to incorporate some more off-speed pitches. Barely able to make contact. Down 0-2 now. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Bases are empty, one man out. And a check swing here. Quick appeal, but Joe McDonald says he held off. It's ball one. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. Al Burke. Pujols. Now here's the pitch. Albert Pujols is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Pitching a little bit backwards in this situation. I'd expect a hitter to be sitting off speed. And one and one as this one's in on the hands. Two balls and a strike to the Angels' first baseman. The 2 1. There's a slider taken for a ball. Time to narrow your focus up there at the plate. In a one run game, he doesn't want to walk you, so there's a good chance he's going to get something to handle right here. And there's a called strike two, as now they're down to their final strike this afternoon. Angels down to their last strike. And this ball swung on and hit to center field, and this should do it. Kiermaier is there to make the catch, and with that, the ball game is over. Man, they're making it look awful easy out there. That's nine wins in a row. That's right, nine wins in a row. And by the way they're playing, I see no reason why this streak is going to end anytime soon. They're just playing great baseball. And it's a 10-9 final at the end of this one. The Rays scored 10 runs on the way to victory. Chaz Rowe earns the victory on the mound. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. The final line score for this afternoon's ball game for the victorious Rays. 10 runs, 13 hits, no errors. They left four men on base. For the Angels, nine runs, 14 hits, no errors. They left eight men on base. Time of the ball game, four hours and 16 minutes. Our paid attendance at the Big A this afternoon, 45,477. The Angels once again thank you for attending today's game and remind you to please drive home safely.